Hi everyone, so I'm going to try to make this video super super fast. This is my bag of empties and I have a lot of empties and I also have a lot of purse items. Yeah, that's my bag there. It's a frozen shopping bag. So yes, going to try to make this really really fast. So the first thing is dish soap. This is the Honest dish soap in the scent White Grapefruit. And the reason why I put this in the bag was because I now use this to clean my brushes and it's really really good for that. I used to use the Dr. Bronner's uh, like soap, like solid soap, to clean my brushes, but I don't like the after scent. Like I don't like the way my brushes smell once it dries, so I stopped using that, and I now use this, and I really, really like it. So the next thing is the Honest Wipes, and I use this to take off my makeup. I have talked about this before. It's really, really good. It's really gentle. It doesn't sting my face or my eyes. I just, I really like this. It's also fragrance-free. So I will repurchase that. I will repurchase the dish soap as well. The next thing is the Lush Big Sea Salt Shampoo. This is always my indication that I need to do an empties. But yeah, I love this stuff. It smells fantastic. It really volumizes my hair. I can't open it up because the salt has dried. This is the only shampoo that I use. I don't use this every day. I use it about three times a week. And it really volumizes my hair. And uh, I love the way it smells. I love everything about this product. I've talked about this a ton. But uh, yeah, good stuff. And I definitely will repurchase. So the next thing is from Paula's Choice. This is from the Resist line. And this is the Optimal Results Hydrating Cleanser. This is really good stuff. It is a creamy cleanser, like a lotion consistency. And this doesn't have a smell to it. And uh, yeah, it's really good stuff. It's great if you have aging skin or dry skin. It's good. And I will repurchase. The next thing are lashes. These were the Ardell 108s. These are natural. I wouldn't repurchase these. They basically look like my lashes. Like nothing. Because I don't really have lashes to begin with. So yeah, wouldn't recommend these. Ardell 108s. No. The next thing is from Silver and Glory. I always pick up one of these at Sephora. It is my favorite body butter. I love the perfume as well. Um, this is the Righteous Body Butter and I just, I love it. It's more of a fruity scent, so I wouldn't necessarily put this on during the summer. But this is like a big bag of accumulated empties. So I did finish that in the summer. So the next thing is a little tub of uh, the Renewing Moroccan Argan Oil. This is from Organics, and this is just the shampoo. It's really, really good. I love the way that this smells. This is really good because you really don't need a conditioner with this because it's very hydrating, but it doesn't it doesn't build up on your hair like a conditioner would. So yes, I really like this, and I would purchase this. The next thing is from Seventh Generation. And this is their boost. They are like little oils, like the Josie Marin oil, but they all do different things for your skin. This one is the green bottle, and this is for protecting. So this is really good just to protect you from any weather elements. So this is perfect for like the winter, or if you're traveling, this is good stuff. And it smells like uh, lemongrass. It's good, and I would repurchase it, but I have a lot of oils, but I definitely would recommend that. So the next thing is a cleansing oil. This is from Nude. This is the perfect cleansing oil for face and eyes. My favorite cleansing oil of all, of all times. But I'm not going to repurchase this because I am going to buy the One Love Organics one. The one that smells like pineapple, like a, a pina colada that Elise always talks about. That's the one that I'm going to pick up next. Uh, because her recommendations are always the bomb. So, but I do love this. I definitely would recommend it. It's my favorite cleansing oil at the moment. It smells really nice too. The next thing is the Moroccan Rose Facial Toner. This is from Davida. Um, it's a good toner, but it's very, very strong. It smells like old, like an old lady rose scent very heavily scented and so I wouldn't recommend this I wouldn't repurchase this um, it's just it's too strong for me the next thing is the hard candy I'm tired it's a depuffer a brightener it firms your skin as well and it has these three metal balls so it's very cooling to the eyes I really do like this I would repurchase this 
I'm actually um, almost done with my other eye cream, so I may go ahead and uh, pick this one up next. You can find this at Walmart, so it's very easy, accessible, and uh, it's very cheap as well. So the next thing is mascara. I finished a lot of mascaras. This is the Essence I Love Extreme Volume Mascara. I like the pink tube better, uh, but this one is good. I like the the wand better on this one, but I like the formula better on the pink tube. You can't win, but I do like this one, uh, but I will just stick to buying the pink one. The next thing is a sugar scrub, a salt and sugar scrub, and this is from the company More. This is a Australian company, I believe, and I really love the packaging. It has this like Victorian chair, really, really cute. And this one is in Sugar Rose Tiger Lily. This is so good. I love everything from the company More. They have a lot of luxury, like spa type of things, uh, sugar scrubs and uh, body butters and things like that. And I love all their scents. They have one in the scent Basil, but it smells so good. You wouldn't think it would smell good, but it smells so good. It's in a, a green bottle. But this one is my favorite one. Um, it does smell like rose, but it has like a very fruity and floral scent to it. Really good. Another sugar scrub. This is the Shea Sugar Body Scrub in Coconut Lime from Tree Hut. And you can get, you know, big tubs of this or little tiny travel tubs of this. This is so good, guys. This smells really, really good. It's not very abrasive on the skin. Both of these aren't very abrasive. I don't really like abrasive scrubs, to be honest. So I really like these. Um, this one is definitely more of a summery scent. And this one is more of like a rich, like, wintry scent. The next thing is a moisturizer. This one is from Aubrey. This is the Everyday Basics Moisturizer for normal to dry skin. Um, you know, it performs really good. I wouldn't repurchase this because it is organic and the the shelf life isn't really too long. So it ended up smelling bad after a while. So would not repurchase that. I finished up a deodorant from Urban Cowboy. This one is in the Scent Blossom. And they do have another one for men. Uh, I really like the scent of this. I like to layer this with other deodorants. This is how I use it. Uh, but it is a good one. It's not like going to be the greatest thing ever. It's not going to be uh, sweat proof. But it does smell really good. So that's why I like to layer it with my other deodorants. The next thing is the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. This is one of my favorite mascaras. Um, it just really gives me oomph to my lashes. It's not good for lengthening, but it definitely is good for volume. So I really like that, and I definitely will repurchase that. The next thing is this eyeliner pen from Gosh. And this is in the shade Gray. And it was just that. It was a gray liner. Um, it became kind of patchy after a while, so that's why I'm tossing it. But it is a very unique felt tip eyeliner. Uh, the color is really, really pretty. So... I really like this and I definitely would invest in getting another one. So this is the Walita Seabuck Thorn Replenishing Body Lotion. This is really good stuff. I wouldn't repurchase it. It isn't anything like overly amazing. I have other body lotions that I like better. I did like that it had like an orangey scent to it because that's a scent that I like. But um, yeah, I wouldn't repurchase it. I finished up a pumpkin and poppy oil absorbing mineral veil. This was just the little like sample size. This is really good stuff. It's a great setting powder. It has like a sheen to it, but on the face it doesn't show up and it really just sets your makeup and gives you a more mattified look, but still looking luminous. This is the Julep DD Cream. This was horrible, 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 horrible. It was very tacky, so it was very hard to use. And I don't know, I don't have anything good to say about this. It was very tacky. It was in the shade Medium. I think they only have like three shades, and the shade wasn't really right for me. It was, I don't know, it was too pink based. Not good stuff. So the next thing is from my shell. This is the Ultra High Hyaluronic Hydrating Serum for dry skin. This was really good stuff. If I didn't have a lot of serums, I definitely would try it uh, again. It was really good. It was just a little tiny sample, but 
Um, it definitely made my skin feel much more smoother and less textured. I wanted to share these with you guys because these are awesome. These are the Donna Michelle nail polish stickers and I got this at the Dollar Tree. These are so good. They lasted me like a good two weeks on my nails. I will put a picture here if I remember. But yeah, amazing stuff. I love the prints. All of her prints are very floral and I love me some florals. So yes, love that. The next thing that I finished up is this little sample of the Makeup Forever uh, Smoky Extravagant Mascara. And I didn't really like this, not just because it's not cruelty for anything, but the wand was kind of weird. It's like this really weird tapered brush that I wasn't really too fond of, and it really didn't do anything for my lashes. Another mascara. This is the Julep American Beauty Volumizing Mascara. Um, I wouldn't say it's volumizing. It's actually more lengthening than anything else. I really didn't like the packaging. It's kind of weird, kind of like square, and it doesn't feel comfortable. Um, but I didn't like the wand either. It's a very skinny wand. I did like the fact that it was very lengthening, but um, I wouldn't touch that. And then I finished up this Naked Skin uh, Beauty Balm. This was really horrible. I mean, this would be more of a primer than anything else because it didn't have any coverage whatsoever. It does have an SPF of 20, but I definitely wouldn't repurchase something like this because it has like no coverage. It didn't really blur anything out. So um, I have these little samples that I finished up as well. This is Malicious. And this one is from Glamour Doll Eyes, and it's this beautiful, like, taupey shade. Well, it looks like a taupe. When you swatch it, it's more of a purple. And then this one is Grenade, and it looks like a normal green, but in actuality, it's a green with a bunch of, like, purple duochrome. Really, really gorgeous, and these two together are, like, the perfect pair. And I'm definitely going to get the full sizes of both of these. And the other one is uh, from Bija Cosmetics, and this is River Court. And I really like this. This is like a good staple gray. It does lean a little bit blue, which I like. Um, so I love it. I love cool tone shadows. This is a really good staple to have. Um, so yeah, would recommend that. And then I finished up this Lauren Brooke Cream Eyeshadow in Dahlia. Now cream eyeshadows are known for creasing, but this bad boy creased so much and I don't know uh, this is like a pink shade and I don't really wear colors like that all too often so there really wasn't like a big need to wear this as a base so I did finish it but I definitely wouldn't recommend any of their cream eyeshadows maybe if there was like a very unique color but um, this isn't very unique and it creased a lot crazy. So on to the purge items. I am purging this. This is the Too Faced In Your Dreams palette. And the palette itself is very, very pretty. The eyeshadows though are not on par with like the eyeshadows from, uh, from their newer palettes. They're very chalky. I mean, it looks pigmented, but they are very chalky once swatched and also on your lids. Um, I have some of their blushes in other palettes, so I don't really need the blushes, and the packaging is just disgusting. It started peeling, like, from all sides, and there isn't a magnetic closure anymore. It broke, so, yeah, it's, it's a beautiful palette, but it's very, like, bulky at the same time, and it's just a waste of paper and cardboard and packaging. Um, I wish I could like depot these, but then again, they're not really the highest of quality. And then I don't know if you guys remember these, but these are the old school Wet n Wild palettes. This one is Fantasy Island, which has like a bunch of like cool toned uh, colors. And then this one is Paradise Cove, and it has a bunch of like warm tones. And it had this like pull out mirror. And, um, those were the shadows and this guy didn't even like open all the way which was kind of annoying and the colors were very like powdery and like that's that's an eyeshadow there uh, so yeah the quality of these just are not on par with the newer palettes from Wet n Wild um, 
And yeah, they're just a waste of space in my collection. So I'm probably just going to throw those away because they're really crappy. This is the Hard Candy Green with Envy. I'm also going to purchase as well. These shadows weren't really all that great either. And I just, I barely touched this palette. Um, very chalky. There's that green there. You can barely see it. And the brown is like super chalky. So yeah, really bad quality. Wouldn't recommend this palette at all. And then the NYX Adorable palette. Um, again, just you can't even barely see the colors in here. And I don't know. I rarely wear like light colors like this on my lids. There is a few like darker shades. But the overall eyeshadow palette just doesn't like, grab my attention. So I never use this. And then there's this. This is the Cheek Palette from Physicians Formula. And it was like a cream, cream blush. And I did use this a lot, but it kind of dried out. And so I'm just going to toss it because it's very, very old. I wish that they did make more cream blushes because this really wasn't a bad product. It just kind of got old. There was a lot of product in here, so there was no way that I was going to finish that bad boy. And then the last two things are nail polishes. These are glittery nail polishes. And to be honest, I'm completely over glitter nail polishes. They're just like a mess to be handled with. I don't have time for glitter nail polishes. So this is the Ultraviolet from Orly. And this one is Spasmatic from Orly. And they are just that. I mean, they look really beautiful, but they're just glitter. And the glitter is very, like, sparse on your nails. So you have to layer, layer, and layer. And then it just looks like a hot mess. So I wouldn't even recommend these. I don't even know if I'm going to give them to anybody because they're really not good nail polishes. Unless you're, like, glitter obsessed, um, you might like them. So that is it for uh, my empties. I hope that you guys enjoyed. And I will see you in the next one. Dirty fingers.